few birds with one stone. I want to get 75 range for the blowpipe, obviously. I want to get uh, shards for the arc light. I already have one and need two more to get the arc light and then obviously three shards per thousand charges so I want to get as many shards as possible. I also want to get my construction up and the cheapest way to do that passively is long bones and curved bones which are 1 in 400 and 1 in 5000 respectively. Um, so to get from the level I was and the experience I was when I started this, I need to kill just over 2,900 hill giants here in the catacombs of Karend. And so that's seven long bones, hopefully, and about eight of these shards. Um, it'd be nice to get some totems along the way, if I could take on Skatizo, nice chance for a pet and more shards but yeah so I'm going to be here for nearly 3,000 hill giants um, I've tagged a few things the rune drops and the insult heads um, but obviously I'm aiming to limit banking as much as possible um, but I'm currently getting about 39k experience per hour uh, so I'll be here for a while but hopefully in the end it will be worth it 201 kills in that is my first drop of note and that is an ancient shard so that brings me up to two total only one more until I can make the arc light 330 kc there is the second ancient shard so that is three total and that means i can now upgrade my arc light 450 kc in that is our first long bone so that is one in 400 drop rate so it's not very much over so we've got the long bone which is a few thousand construction experience and hopefully between now and 75 range we will get several more and we've just got our very first totem piece um, it's about 300 kills over drop rate I think it's three six uh, four six five um, so I mean hopefully we get the other one under drop rate but it's just nice to see the first totem piece second totem piece it's quite a bit over drop rate in fact we're not that far away from the drop rate for three but that is our second totem piece one more and we can take on Skatizo that was not a drop I expected to see one in 13.8k um, ten times under the drop rate yeah dragon spear uh, cool I guess here we are at uh, 1453kc, about pretty much halfway, uh, we're on 6 ancient shards, 8 giant keys which is good, um, 2 totem pieces so far, we're closing in on being due for our third, which would be good to be able to get a Skatizo kill. Um, obviously we've got the dragon spear, the one in 13.8k and the four long bones which are one in 400 we are just above drop rate for um, so we've got quite a bit of experience to go we just got 73 not that long ago um, so we're 90k and then another 100k I think on top of that um, so we're about four or five more hours away um, but I will hit you with any updates in the grind, if not I'll see you when we hit 75. Did some kills on mobile while I was out and about. Got my Dark Totem top, so that is the first Dark Totem completed. Uh, I'll be saving the totems until I finish getting to 75 range. Hopefully might get a second one. Uh, in that time and then we'll do them both together but if not I'll just do 
this one. Um, didn't get much else of note on mobile, a few herbs and a few runes, but nothing else of note. Didn't expect to get one in the amount we were killing, which was about 2,900. But there is a curve bone, so that is some very good construction experience. Said I was hoping for two totems, and there it is. That is my second dark totem completed. So I get two KC at Skatize. We're about 65k XP from 75, so it won't be too long now. And yeah, I'm very happy to see that second completed totem. Very close to the end, but we get what is our second curved bone. One in 5,000 chance. We've killed uh, about 2.8k. Um, but yeah, so that is our second curved bone, and that is very nice construction XP. And there we go. 75 range obtained. We can now use the blowpipe. Uh, in total, we killed about 2,900 hill giants. I killed some on mobile, so not on the loot tracker. Uh, 10 site grass, 100 insult heads, dragon spear, 5 long bones and 2 curved bones, which is very nice for construction experience. Uh, we got 2 full totems and 1 more totem piece, which is above the drop rate. Uh, we were below the drop rate for Ancient Shards and Giant Keys, but I'm not too fussed about that because we still got plenty. Um, but now we're going to go and buy the blowpipe and prepare to go and take a second attempt at doing the fire cave. Uh, 2000 platinum tokens, which we were gifted, and the one mil we've got in our bank. So, toxic blowpipe 2.435, it's gone up a little bit since I last looked. But that is the blowpipe. Uh, we need darts. Um, how much are rune darts? Yeah, okay. I'll buy okay rune darts. Oh, they're going up apparently. And scales. It's all scales. Just whack 3k in. Use them. That is 18.3% mm, charge, should be enough. And we will sit and wait for the rune darts to come in. There is 75 crafting coming in. I was just making some emerald bracelets, get a bit of experience, but also make a bit of profit as it's currently about 300k profit per hour making emerald bracelets, which is quite nice. Um, just to make sure I've got the money for the potions etc that I need for the fire cave attempt. So here we are back at the fire caves. We've got our inventory sorted. Bit of a mix around from last time but hopefully it sees us through. Uh, we've got rune darts, uh, 2000 rune darts and 6000 scales which is more than enough for the cave. That's the setup. I don't have the money for a ring that will actually help, so I've stuck with the ring of wealth because it doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go in. I'm going to hopefully beat it this time and hopefully I'll see you quite soon with our fire cape. Here we are, wave 63. There is Jad looking very scary. Uh, we have some prayer left, not a lot. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna pray up. I'm gonna get this started and hopefully I'll be coming out of it with a fire cape. Miss the prayer change on Jad and that's how it happens. Um, I'm gonna take a break from that because yeah. Uh, so I'm going to go do some quests, um, but first I'm going to go and get 100% Arceus favour um, so I can use all the insult heads I have in the bank so I can get my prayer up. 
and I'll probably get a bit of defense training and range training in before I try it again just so it goes a bit smoother that is a soul spaying completed an easy quest but one I needed to get done there is the contact quest completed and with that I unlock the master quest beneath cursed sands I won't be doing this just yet I'm gonna go crack out a few of the easier quests first but that is a quest that I will be doing in the very near future there is the darkness of Hallevel quest completed do we get any levels yeah 37 construction nothing else but the construction levels nice um, that is 114 quests completed I'm gonna crack on I'm pretty much just working down in alphabetical order doing the ones I can do that aren't too long at the moment so I'm gonna continue doing that there is dream mentor completed some hit points and magic experience no levels dreamy lamp and I'm not quite sure uh, what skills uh, stick into ranged 15k range experience and yeah that's another quest chalked off and uh, about 35 40 more to go there is an Acra's Lament completed uh, some experience and the Camulet um, not much use but it's nice can't even see it behind my uh, behind my beard but on to the next quest there is enlightened journey which I need for a couple of diary achievements and next on the list would be not devious minds not dragon slide 2 it looks like it's going to be eagles peak so I need to go and get 8 hunter levels coming to do my birdhouse runs and I realised I completely forgot about my mahogany tree saplings so there is 60 farming and this will be 61 farming uh, I need to go and grab some more saplings and some more Yanillion hops to protect them but I will be replanting those and hopefully this time remember they're there I have started my birdhouse runs so in the meantime while I'm waiting for those I figured I might as well use the 16 giant keys I got from a hill giant grind. Um, so I'm going to head into Obor, get my 16 kills, see if I can get anything, and yeah, I'll see you if I get anything good. Two keys left. I've dropped in for a free to a free-to-play world because there is a combat achievement task to kill Obor on free-to-play. So I'm going to do that, and then I believe, uh, obor wise, I only have one more or two more that I can complete after that. And if we have a look, so there's three more. So kill obor while he is mobilised, fighting as intended, which is what I'm about to do, and kill obor without taking any damage off prayer. Um, so I'm going to get this one now and then I'll try and get the last two with the final key back on pay to play. Messed up and got neither of the final two on Obor but this is the drops 283k some rune mostly and some runes um, nothing spectacular but a little bit of a bonus uh, while I'm waiting for the bird houses, now I'm going to go back to questing. So I'm going to go and get the Great Brain Robbery done. And when I have the 27 Hunter, I will go back and complete Eagle's Peak. And that is the Great Brain Robbery completed. Barrel Chest Anchor obtained. 39 construction. And yeah. Uh, my bird houses will be done, long done now, so I will go and get those, see how close to 27 we are, and if not, I will go move on on another quest, and if we are, Eagle's Peak. 
there is the hand in the sand quest completed and that unlocks daily sand and which won't be much use to me but it also unlocks the rune store up in the wizard's guild um, I mean it's another rune store I have access to a lot and uh, the prices are the same but it's nice to have options there is the haunted mine quest completed and I've unlocked the salve amulet 22k strength XP as well which puts me not that far away from level 69 and yeah that is another quest ticked off um, it's about 15-20 minutes until I can do my birdhouses so I'm going to go and crack our very easy quest Hazel Cult that is Hazel Cult completed very easy quest and another one ticked off only 36 more quests to go uh, if we have a look at the few up here that I can complete uh, beneath the cursed sands I can do um, I'll be doing that in a few days time um, devious minds need to complete wanted enter the abyss I need to get to 50 rune crafting, I need to get to 65 smithing. Um, Desert Treasure 2, obviously I've got a lot to do for that, so I'm not uh, entertaining that at the moment. Uh, Dragon Slayer 2, it's not actually huge amounts to do. Um, most of the skills are quite quick. Uh, they'll just require a bit of money, um, so that is what I'm working towards currently. Uh, Eagle's Peak, we should get to that very soon. Um, and Fremenic Exiles, I need 60 smithing, which is easy enough, and 55 room crafting. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go work on some room crafting. But I will do that via the mini game, which means I need to go and do the Temple of the Eye quest, which means I need to go and do the Enter the Abyss mini game. So I'm going to crack on and get those done. Enter the Abyss done, now on to Temple of the Eye. Temple of the Eye completed, and 5k runecrafting experience, it gets us uh, to 35. And we need to get to 55 so we have quite a bit of guardians of the rift ahead of us doing a birdhouse run whilst I've been doing guardians of the rift up to 53 room crafting I'm aiming for 60 to unlock the requirements for all the quests that need room crafting and I just got a birds nest and I got a dragon fruit tree seed 120k very nice uh, we're up to 31 so I have unlocked Eagle's Peak but I'm going to work on finishing Guardians of the Rift and then go back to questing first item of note from Guardians of the Rift we got the Abyssal Needle which will be absolutely no use to me until I am 85 runecrafting so a little bit away okay was not expecting that shield left half from um, one of the bags so that is two collection like items ticked off randomly just hit 61 mining whilst doing guardians of the rift um, wasn't really paying attention to the mining experience to be honest but that is a nice level unlocks the dragon picks which I won't buy because it's not worth it but it's just a nice level to get there we are mid game and I have hit 60 rune crafting um, wasn't that bad of a grind to be honest I actually kind of like this mini game um, so yeah 60 rune crafting that is all I needed to unlock every quest requirement rune crafting wise uh, so I'm gonna move on and get some other stuff done but obviously I'll finish this game first so 45kc from Guardians of the Rift, uh, 294k from just claiming the rewards, 
and a further 255k from the intricate pouches. So one main drop, nothing particularly great, not really a useful one until you get to 85 room crafting, but decent rewards over 500k. And yeah, so now I'm going to move on. I've got the Hunter Level 3 Eagles Peak, so I'm going to go and get that done. And then I'm probably going to track back a little bit alphabetically and finally go and complete Beneath Cursed Sands. Eagles Peak completed, uh, Eagle Transport unlocked, and also the ability to use box traps. 34 hunter as well which means on my next birdhouse run I can now use teak birdhouses. Before I go and complete Beneath Curse Sands I've decided to use my two dark totems uh, see if I can get anything from Scutizo and yeah hopefully I get the pet 1 in 65 so there's always a chance so I will see you at the end of the first kill and here we are with the first scutees I kill. I ran out of prayer. I was very close to running out of food, but I got the kill and completed three of the three of the combat tasks associated, which is very nice. 450 soul runes, 130k is pretty nice. Uh, elite clue. Uh, yes, I can do that, uh, but I'm going to go re-gear, bring a bit more prayer, and do the second one. Coming in with the second Scatizo kill, and we get an Ancient Shard and Adior. Uh, not a lot, um, but yeah, it could be worse. Uh, the ancient, the Adior is worth not a blimey, that's gone down. Um, but yeah, so that's two Scatizo kills done. And what I'm probably about to go and do is start Beneath Curse Sands. First kill of uh, boss fight of Beneath Curse Sands completed, and that was very easy. Uh, two more boss fights, and the rest of the quest to go. But yeah, starting well. And that is the second boss fight down. A um, little bit harder than the first, but easily doable just running around the room. And yeah, so we'll carry on with the quest and go on to the final boss fight. And that is the final boss of Beneath Cursed Sands, defeated. Uh, my first attempt I died because I lagged slightly and got one hit by the lightning, but second attempt really easy uh, much easier boss than i thought it was going to be and yeah so i'm gonna go finish off the quest now and i'll see you at the end and there it is the beneath curse sands quest completed tombs of a mascot unlocked uh Keris partisan and the circlet of water unlocked and fifty thousand agility experience which gets me up to level 63 that uh, is absolutely brilliant and the next quest down is Devious Minds so we need to do Wanted and also get my smithing up 13 levels to level 65. Been smelting gold to work on getting my smithing up up to 58, two levels away from when I start doing Blast Furnace um, but I decided to sell some of the excess stuff I built up in my bank, mostly the runes from Guardians of the Rift, uh, because I currently have 2k gold bars um, and I don't want to lose that much money on them uh, because it's, if we look, it was 167 GP each and gold bars are not worth that, although they appear to have gone up quite a bit since I last had some. Um, however, I'm going to be buying some emeralds and making them into emerald bracelets so I still profit off it. Um, just because I don't want to sink too much of my money in smithing without any profit. 
just hit 65 smithing, which is the requirement I needed for the Devious Minds quest skilling-wise. Still need to do the wanted quest, which is a relatively easy quest. Um, and I can do it, so I will go and get that done. Uh, I've been doing gold bars at Blast Furnace because it's very, very quick experience. Up to 300k an hour, but I think I was getting about... 250k yeah just uh, just under 250k an hour um, I have just under 4k gold bars so I'll be making them into bracelets um, and then I'll be continuing with questing grind starting with wanted and moving on to devious mines there we have the wanted quest completed 5k slayer xp and access to the white knight armory and that also means that I can now move on and complete the Devious Mines quest. Devious Mines completed, some nice experience rewards there. Um, and now we are going to move on, uh, take a bit of a break from questing. And I'll see you soon with what we're going to be doing. So what I'm going to be working on is the combat tasks. Uh, I want to get to the second tier, the medium tier, so I can uh, avoid the draining effect of Barrows, which is what I want to do. And by killing that Aberrant Spectre, I have unlocked the easy tier. And I even got a Snapdragon Seed out of it. So I'm going to now have to go and get my rewards and then I will work out the easiest way to get up to medium. Easy tier completed, Gommel's Hilt 1 and the Ancient Lamp, 5k Hunter XP puts me up to 36 and I need to get 82 points which is quite a lot so I'm going to go and work out which ones I'm going to do in order to get there. We will be starting with the Crazy Archaeologist. Uh, kill 10 and 25 times gives 5 points. Um, kill without being injured by the Reign of Knowledge attack. And kill with only magic. So I've come over with magic. I'm going to get 25 kills done. And that will be total of nine points first kill and mage of the ruins completed and probably one of the best drops i can get in the onyx bolt tips kill number two for the well the rune crossbows and that is the i'd rather not learn so i avoided damage from the reign of knowledge attack got distracted on the first kill which is why i didn't get it but yeah so I will see you now in another 23 kills when I've done both of the kill count achievements. With that kill, that is the combat achievement for Crazy Archaeologist completed. So we'll be moving on and I'm going to have a look and see what we're doing next. And for those curious, the total loot was a little over 300k, which for only 25 kills is very nice. That is a game of Winter Tard completed where I got over 3,000 points and I also did the task for healing a pyromancer which I believe gives me the yep, green on Winter Tard so that's another one ticked off and it means that we are 69 points from the medium reward. And I completely forgot Let's open the crate uh, Nothing particularly great But two maple seeds Is a little bit of Blimey they've gone down So no it's not a lot at all And something I've not done before Which is Temporos uh, First attempt at a solo game Got my two there And I've just completed a game one shy on total permits which is really annoying but oh well and I got two more for a total of seven points and that means we've still got 
62 to go. Um, and if we have a look at Tempras, there is Tempras Novice, five times, uh, attack from both ships, subdued ten times, and I need to get ten permits in a single game. So I'm going to keep working on these and hopefully get them done. And that is the 10 Tempros KC completed. And if we have a look, we have done all of them except for uh, 10 reward permits. Um, I'm going to take a break from Tempros. I really don't enjoy this. I'm going to move on. Um, but we've covered a lot so far, and I think it might be time to wrap it up for this one. Um, gained a lot of levels. Uh, we've made a big, uh, big impact on the quests. Uh, still a fair few to go, but nothing too difficult apart from the other Grandmasters. Um, going to have to work on some skills in the next uh, video because I need 70s in quite a few skills to do some of the elves for example uh, I need 72 mining as well things like that for quests um, and I also need to finally get round to taking my third attempt at the fire cape and hopefully we'll get it um, but before I completely say goodbye what I'm gonna quickly do is fish up the nine uh, nine permits worth of stuff I've got. I fished up the others, I didn't get a lot um, apart from a load of spirit flakes. And we're looking at getting absolutely nothing from those yet. Um, but yeah, I'll leave it there for now and I will see you in the next one.